All right, quick video. If you've been considering the Asus ProArt PX13 with the RTX 4050 or the RTX 4060, I have full dedicated reviews, tons of information on this device. And so you can check out the playlist, but this video is just gonna be looking at benchmarks. And so let's just dive right in. Now, first and foremost, the simulated benchmarks are gonna be the same because we have the same chipset. What I'm gonna be looking at here is going to be 3D modeling, Photoshop, video editing. Okay, first and foremost, if you're looking for this device for video editing, the RTX 4050 is actually really solid. If you look at the RTX 4060 results, um, it only bumps it up by a margin. Um, the RTX 4050 is very well optimized, and so it's only by a margin that you get better performance from this device. Now going ahead and looking at Photoshop, same thing. 8,249 on the Photoshop benchmark versus an, for the 4050 versus an 8,301 for the RTX 4060. Now going ahead and taking a look at Premiere Pro, we have a four minute and six second export time out of the RTX 4050 and a two minute and 46 second export time out of the RTX 4060. Now I'm gonna do all the export times right now on the screen for the RTX 4050 first, and then it'll switch over to the RTX 4060, okay? You can see we have improvements. And I would say, honestly, video editing would be where the 4060 improves this device most. Um, it will save you some time. It definitely is something to consider, especially if you're a 6K uh, higher resolution user of these devices. Now, I wanna go ahead and take a look at playback. So you can see that the RTX 4050 had good playback 4K full quality, zero drop frames, 6K B-RAW full quality, 108, 6K red footage, 1,842. Now you go and you look at the RTX 4060 version, we have eight drop frames at 6K B-RAW and 1,033 drop frames at 6K red footage. A pretty solid improvement. It almost halves the drop frames and that's out of 16,177 in the total project. Now, the uptick in price, I think, is roughly about $300 between these two devices. And if you want to check the live pricing, head down in the description below and click those links. Now, I have seen on Best Buy where, like, one of the models is on sale while the other one isn't. And so, I, I mean, honestly, I would just buy the model that's on sale. That's kind of how I would approach this, especially going into, like, the holiday season. But remember, links are in the description below. So if you do click those links and make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But I think punch for punch, that 4050 is so well optimized. I think Asus did a really good job with this. The 4060 is definitely an uptick, but it's, it's you know, maybe 10, 10%, maybe less uh, performance increase uh, by choosing that more powerful GPU. Now, keep in mind, you're going to you know, buy the highest level possible. And that will, you know, free you up of any mental distress of like, oh, I should have just gone for the 4060, especially if it's on sale. That's why I recommend buying the one that is on sale. But anyway, let me know, comment below, super short video. Wanted to get these stats out to you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Click here for more videos about the ProArt series, or you can use the links in the description below to make a purchase. Otherwise, I hope to see y'all in the next video.